I'm making this video in response to a query by a student who is about to start the final year of his uh, bachelor's degree. Uh, apparently the student uh, aspires to do higher education abroad, but uh, he does not have a very strong academic background, so his GPA or grades are not very good. So his question was whether he can still be accepted, you know, for a higher degree abroad, considering, uh, you know, he has, uh, you know, low GPA. So I thought to answer this in the form of a video because that might help other students as well who have a similar query. So before uh, giving my opinion on this topic, uh, just a request to please consider subscribing to this channel in order to stay connected and get notified of uh, several upcoming informative videos. And uh, if you're using other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, you can follow me there as well. Uh, the links to these social media platforms are provided in the description below and you can see them on the screen. So my opinion on this uh, query is that uh, you definitely you know, need to have a very strong academic background and that means uh, you know, high GPA and uh, very good grades. Uh, if you want to pursue your higher education abroad and uh, if you want to you know, uh, apply and uh, obtain a scholarship because having a strong academic background definitely maximizes uh, you know, your uh, chances of uh, availing scholarship and getting admissions. Uh, it is particularly important if you aspire to do your higher education uh, you know, from a top-ranked university because these universities uh, prefer students who have a strong academic background. Having said that, if you have got a low GPA, then that is also not end of the world because uh, in my opinion, you can still go on to do your higher education abroad and uh, actually get a scholarship as well. Uh, but you need to adopt a proper strategy in my opinion, which I'm going to talk uh, in a minute. Uh, because uh, I have seen a lot of people, uh, you know, some actually in my social circle, uh, who did not have a very high GPA in bachelor's degree but they went on to do their uh, master's degree and even PhD degree as well abroad and they are doing very good in their academic careers uh, you know currently but I'm not saying this uh, to make you complacent and I would strongly encourage you and push you to try your level best and work hard to get high grades and high GPA because as I said this would make it easier for you to get admissions and scholarships abroad but if after trying your level best, you still end up with a low GPA, then as I said, this is not end of the story either. And you can still, you know, go on to do your higher education. So in order to do that, uh, my suggestion would be that uh, the first thing you should do is to target the universities that are not very high ranked. Because as I said, uh, high ranked universities would prefer people with a very strong academic background, high GPA, uh, you know, very good grades. And uh, frankly, in my opinion, it would not matter too much, uh, you know, if, even if you have uh, got a degree from not a very high rank university, because uh, in a lot of degrees, especially, you know, degrees that are research based, for example, a PhD, what really matters is uh, your research output. So, for example, if you are, uh, if you have done a PhD from a comparatively lower ranked university, but you have a very strong research output, so means uh, you know you have very good publications. So you would be, uh, you know, preferred by your future employer compared to another person who you know have done a PhD from a very top ranked university, but he does not, he or she does not have a very you know, strong, uh, for example, publications or strong research output. And the other thing I would suggest is to try to improve your, uh, you know, portfolio and uh, your profile uh, in order to compensate for your lower grades, you know, in your, um, you know, bachelor's degree, for example. And uh, here you can actually do a few things uh, in order to improve your profile. So the first thing I would suggest is uh, you could, uh, you know, consider doing uh, online courses and uh, certifications that are related to the, you know, graduate program that you intend to join. Because what this would show is that uh, you have a very strong motivation and interest in doing your higher studies in that particular area. And it would definitely enhance and improve your skills as well. Then the second thing you could do is to try to gain some work experience, even if it is uh, unpaid. 
For example, uh, you could uh, try to do an internship, for example, that is uh, you know, relevant to the area in which you want to pursue your higher education. So that would definitely you know, uh, strengthen and improve your profile and you know, perhaps help you stand out you know, among other candidates who are also applying to get admission in that program. My third suggestion would be to try to do very well in the final year project or uh, you know, thesis of your bachelor's degree. And even better if you, you know, could produce uh, a publication, uh, you know, out of your final year project or a thesis because that would really, uh, you know, make you stand out uh, in the crowd. Uh, because I've seen a lot of people who had uh, low grades or who did not do very well in the previous semesters or previous years of their bachelor's degree. But just doing uh, a very, you know, good job in the final year project or thesis helped them to get a very good job or uh, you know an admission in masters uh, abroad in a good university so focus on your final year project as well then the next thing i would suggest is to try to get very strong recommendations from your professors because as you know when you're applying uh, you know for a masters program abroad so uh, they ask for uh, recommendations from your uh, professors uh, you know people who have taught you in your bachelor's degree and if you have strong recommendations, that would also, you know, improve your uh, chances uh, of getting admission or scholarship. My final suggestion would be to try to make an extra effort in writing your statement of purpose, so SOP, uh, which as you know is often required as part of your application when applying for an admission or a scholarship abroad. So here, uh, try to, you know, convince your assessor that uh, despite your uh, low GPA or low grades, while you are still uh, the best fit or a very good fit uh, to this uh, particular program. If you have found this video useful, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And as I said earlier, you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter as well. And uh, if you have any other you know, query or a question that you would like me to answer, then please do not hesitate to reach out to me and uh, I will try my level best to get back to you. Best of luck and stay safe.